I wanted to dedicate this video to someone who I hold very dearly in my heart. I haven't really tell anyone about this, but about a few months ago, my beloved cat, Beddington, died. So about last year, my cat was very sick and I took her to the vet. Paddington was in the condition of being only about 50% chance to survive. As someone who had spent a lot of time with her, it was, it's definitely such tragic to hear such thing. Um, knowing that you are facing the risk of losing her, really just following up checkups and appointment with the doctor, trying to make sure everything went all right. But at that point, I was, I was ready with the fact of losing her. I was mentally prepared. Um, I know for a fact that it's the time to let go. So she was basically hospitalized for a few days. During the days when she was hospitalized, the doctor basically kept me updated with her condition and that we've been witnessing some progress, a good progress. And I was like very happy, of course, knowing that I have a second chance. But again, I wasn't too sure. And we, so yeah, we've been seeing a lot of good progress happening with her, but I wasn't really too happy because deep down inside, I know that I am still um, anxious with her true condition. I'm just, we don't know what's the after effect is going to be. And so I basically, in my head, I was just, the chances of losing her is still there. It's always going to be there. So I'm not really too happy, but it's it was such a huge relief to hear that she's doing all right. So I pick her up from the vet and I am very grateful that she gets home in a healthy condition but I know too well that in my head the risk of losing her is always there because I remember the doctor said to me that her lifespan won't be as normal as any other cats would a few months later about this year I think she got in the same condition as she was last year and I was so concerned about the circumstances I don't want to overthink too much but I know that the things that happened last year is going to repeat again because the amount of times that I've spent worrying about her condition worrying about keeping her safe it's just it's a lot and I just want the best for her I just want to make her feel safe and comfort and not being able to provide that for her is just heartbreaking to me again I I was trying to collect my thoughts trying to mentally prepare because I know the things that happened last year it's not going to happen again this year so I sent it to the vet again and the doctor confirmed that she had an infection and so we had to hospitalize her for a few days and during that time she looks okay so I was not too worried and again she was making a good progress I was happy I thought that there is another miracle happened to me but um, but then the next evening, the doctor called me and said, I, I thought the doctor is going to say that you can pick her up now. She's, she's fine because in the video that the doctor updated me, she looks all right. But turns out the doctor said like, hey, it's me. I'm very sorry to inform you, but Paddington had passed away. And I was um, confused. I don't know how to react. I thought that you know we've fight this before and we're just going to do it again but it's not meant to be everything just happened at a very strange time in my life I wasn't mentally doing well at that time to be able to accepting the fact that your best friend had passed away it's a lot to take and I've had experience things like this before with my previous cat and I thought that um, personal experience is going to help you, it's going to make you stronger. But I, I'm, not, I'm, I, I, I'm not strong. I don't know, I just, maybe I didn't learn on how to be stronger. Maybe I just learned on how to love better. Yeah, and for those of you who know me, knows 
how special she is to me. I've spent a lot of my time with her since I was 16 years old. Every, every time I got home from school, I, she was the one who I spent my time with. She was the one who I hang out. So I took care of her ever since she was just a small baby. Well, I'm grateful for all the times that I get to spend with her. She had been such an amazing friend. She had been such a loyal companion. She's like my partner in crime everywhere I go. She goes. We even, I even had the privilege to travel to a different state with her. So that was a really good memory. Looking back, all the photographs that I took of her really just reminds me of how much I miss her and how much I wanted to hold her for one last time. But yeah, I just wanted to share you with what had truly happened. Yeah, talking through this thing really remind us of how sensitive and fragile our lives can be. So spend more time with the ones that you love. Try to make time with them and be grateful for your surroundings because we might, we'll never know when we will be losing them. And of course, I think you know better than I do, but I just wanted to remind of how fragile it is and that it's important for us to show them of how much they mean to us. And I think I've shown to Paddington very well. Yeah, so that's my story of losing something that means everything. I am now in a better condition. I do miss her sometimes. Yeah, that is all. Just thank you for watching.